on guys welcome back to another quad vlog so something kind of significant happened um, this past week the channel finally hit 200 subscribers guys I want to thank you all um, I've had to work pretty hard and put out quite a few videos um, to get 200 of you so um, to everyone that subscribed thank you the only direction the channel can go is up from here so I hope you guys stay subscribed and keep subscribing I definitely am gonna keep making videos for you guys even when school starts I'm gonna try to put out a video a week on the weekends I definitely still have a lot of video ideas I want to do for you guys on the Daytona and still on the Raptor um, so keep liking and keep subscribing to the channel it means a lot to me it helps keep me motivated to, to, to keep making videos and um, it just helps the channel out too um, when, when you guys like and subscribe to the channel, that helps YouTube uh, kind of know that, you know, people like watching my, buddy, my videos and I put out consistent content. So thank you to all the, all my subscribers and everyone who likes the videos. It, it really means a lot and it helps out. Anyways, so today's topic is about my Raptor 700 and how I'm able to drive it on the street. So for all my United States viewers, um, of course everyone knows that every state or you know different states have different laws that apply to motor vehicles whether that be an ATV, a motorcycle, cars and trucks. Um, each state has its own laws that apply to different vehicles. And for all my European viewers that obviously varies by um, which country you're in. But for the most part Europe has pretty strict guidelines when it comes to um, vehicles you can register and drive on the street. And I've got a couple comments on a few of my videos um, that I'm riding the quad on um, from people that are asking how am I able to ride this on the street because you know where they're at um, the laws don't permit it. Or usually the reason is that the laws are just so strict um, from where they're from that uh, it's just really not worth the time and money to invest into street legalizing a quad. And so if you don't know much about South Dakota, um, it's a rural state, it's a farmland state, with the exception of a couple cities, one of which I live in. And so the laws here are pretty lax um, when it comes to which vehicles you can drive on the street and the requirements. But regardless of where you live, um, I don't believe there is a quad that you can buy from the showroom floor um, that meets um, any state's or Europe's um, standards or requirements to be street legal. So when I bought my Raptor 700, it was not street legal and I had to do a few things to it um, so I could register it, so I could drive it on the street. But since I live in South Dakota, like I was saying, I kind of got lucky because um, the requirements aren't really even requirements. Um, I only had to add three things to this quad to make it street legal. So the three things I had to add to the quad were a horn, um, this like $5 mirror I found on, I think I found it at Walmart actually. And get ready for it, a license plate light. Don't ask me why. I guess it's obviously if you ride it at night so the cops can see your license plate to give you tickets. But I mean, who's going to stop for cops at night, right? And also I think the horn's a little goofy because I added the horn, never hooked it up because it's guaranteed to be like 10 times as quiet as the quad itself. So I don't think you'd even be able to hear the horn. So I managed to get all those things and install them for probably under 30 bucks. I think the horn I got on Amazon for like $10. Like I said, I don't even have it wired up because it serves zero purpose. It's only if I get like pulled over. Um, by a cop I can just say I have the horn. But yeah, I installed all that for probably under 30 bucks. My license plate light, I'm gonna go ahead and stop so you guys can check it out. It's probably the coolest and best idea for a license plate light ever and the cheapest slash easiest. I'm gonna stop right here and let you guys see it. All right, so since we're off the quad, I don't really want to show my license plate number, but if you guys can see this, this is the light I have rigged up here. It's literally just a bendable flashlight and like the battery's back behind here and I just bent it and just pointed it at the license plate. And then at night, I obviously just turn it on. But I don't even really ride at night, so like I said, it doesn't even, it's not even really useful for me. So next, here's my $5 mirror. It's just a Velcro, you know, high quality. Um, it has an articulating arm on it that kind of like maneuvers the mirror. So that's kind of, it's kind of neat. And then if you guys look right down here, this is where I mounted my horn. And here it is right here, 10 bucks, Amazon. Even have it almost, I think I, yeah, I still have it like wired, but definitely not hooked up to a switch or anything. 
pretty sure it's filled with dust and dirt anyway, so even if I wired it up, it wouldn't work. But yeah, so all that stuff, 30 bucks, legalized my quad. So that's how easy it was for me to street legalize my four-wheeler, but um, there's honestly only a handful of states in the U.S. Um, that it's that easy. A lot of the other states, for example, California, obviously I'm going to pick California because it's going to be the hardest. They have the most laws and regulations when it comes to everything. In California, it's pretty much impossible, near to impossible, to street legalize a four-wheeler because... Um, how they classify a quad is a car. And so since that quad classifies as a car, it's subjected to all the car's safety regulations. That includes a seatbelt. So unless you want your quad to have mud flaps that cover 45% of the tire, or you want your quad to have seatbelts, it's pretty much impossible to register or street legalize a quad in California. Which sucks, because it's just kind of not fair. I mean, they're obviously not a car. Um, in my state, South Dakota, a quad is looked at as a motorcycle. And I know it's not a motorcycle, but um, it has the weight um, and, and engine of a motorcycle. So, therefore, they qualify it as a motorcycle. But there are plenty of states around the U.S. and a lot of Europe that um, you can legalize a quad fairly easily um, with a couple hundred bucks and a little bit of time. For example, I'm going to be using the state of Minnesota, which is just right next to South Dakota. That was rad. My bad. In Minnesota, there's just a few other requirements that it takes to legalize a four-wheeler um, in addition to a horn, a mirror, and a license plate light. In Minnesota, you have to have DOT um, approved tires, which I believe my Duro Scorchers are. It's not that hard to find DOT approved tires to put on a quad. Um, it's just sometimes they don't always look the best and they're gonna come at a price I think a set of these tires is I think it were close to like six seven hundred bucks I paid for these which is pretty dang steep That's like buying a pretty dang good pair of tires for your car And the other main requirement is that you have blinkers on um, the front and back Which South Dakota does not require because we can use our hands as turn signals and I know in some parts of Europe it's um, possible to street legalize a four-wheeler because I was in Germany um, a few years back and I came across a Raptor 700 that was just cruising on the street. I thought it was the coolest thing. Of course, um, they, he had DOT, or not, it's obviously not DOT, but he had street tires that were approved. He also had blinkers. He had to have two mirrors on the side um, as well as a license plate in the front and the back. And also, I'm pretty sure he had to have a speedometer. Which, when you think about it, isn't probably the worst idea to have. Um, you kind of got to know how fast you're going. Personally, um, I just kind of pay attention to, uh, you know, the cars around me. I did have a, a speedometer on here. I can't remember, what is it called? Like a, a trail tech um, speedometer. But it was always off, like, 5 plus 10, even 10 miles an hour sometimes. And I, and I had it, like... Um, size to my wheel and everything. It was just, I don't know. I just didn't have a good experience with it. It's best to just keep up with the flow of traffic in my opinion. Another requirement that sometimes gets people, especially in Europe and with age, is engine size. I know in Europe that uh, you can't have like an engine over a certain horsepower, or I guess in some countries, I don't want to get caught up in my words here because I know it's not everywhere, but in some countries in Europe, you know, you have to be a certain age to drive a certain horsepower um, size engine. So if you're looking to get a four-wheeler and legalize it, first of all, just find out, you know, your state's laws. Um, chances are it is possible to street legalize um, a four-wheeler in your state if you live um, kind of somewhere reasonable <laughs> but um, yeah it's it's not that hard for a couple hundred bucks you can pretty much do it um, in most states
that was scary. Dude, I don't know what happened there. I was super scared. My four-wheeler just like backfired and shut off. Ugh, I want to go over by this guy. He's cool. That was super weird. My four-wheeler just like backfired and shut off. Never had that happen before. I don't know why that did that. I got super scared. I was like, what the hell? Did it just blow up? <laughs> but no, it started right back up. Might need to check the tune. I don't know. I have it power commanded. Um, also, the weather is just like super humid and hot out right now, so the quad is super hot and the air is like super dense and moist, so that could have something to do with it. At least it didn't blow up, that's all I care about. <laughs> Part of me doesn't understand why like people bring a helmet and then just put it on the side of their bike and not wear it. Like, it is hot as balls are right now, but still, like, why bring a helmet then? Like, I just, I don't, I don't, it, does is that just to like kind of like trick yourself into thinking you're being safe or what? Like, it's not right in? Yeah. Just got it? No. How long ago? Uh probably a couple years. I have a Triumph Daytona. Oh really? Yeah, yeah man. What about you? Go ahead, go ahead. What's that? Those are fast. Oh, they're alright, yeah. <laughs> uh, I bought it for about seven. seven yeah, yeah. How do you like it? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Nice, man. Yeah. <laughs> that guy was funny. He didn't expect the Raptor to have as much power as it did. I guess I didn't even like get on it either. I was just keeping up with them, really. So guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Saturday.